In this video, we're going to see a quick overview of the categorization, substitution, and exclusion options available in WordStat. There are five tabs involved in text processing. Pre-processing, post-processing, exclusion, substitution, and categorization. These tabs allow you to specify how the textual information will be processed. The first thing to note is that the text processing options are all optional. WordStat can perform a frequency analysis on your text without enabling any of the options. And in many cases, especially when exploring your text, you may prefer not to enable them, or maybe just the exclusion list, for example. As discussed in the video called Creating a Categorization Model, the options on the Text Processing tab are all stored in a single categorization model file ending in WModel. The advantage of this is that you can mix and match your project and your model files, meaning you can use multiple categorization models on many different projects and vice versa. We will discuss pre-processing and post-processing in other videos. In this video, we'll just concentrate on categorization, substitution, and exclusion. The categorization, substitution, and exclusion tabs are all set up in a similar manner. To enable the tabs, select the checkbox on top. Let's start with the categorization tab. This tab contains your categorization dictionary if you use one. A categorization dictionary has a number of functions. It allows you to remove variant forms of a word in order to treat them as a single instance and to group related words under meaningful categories. It may also be used to perform a frequency analysis on manually entered codes. WordStat comes with a number of categorization dictionaries. Others are available for purchase on our website. And of course, you can make your own. The categorization dictionary is structured as a hierarchical tree. Words, word patterns, phrases, and rules are grouped under categories. In WordStat 8, you can also use regular expressions in your dictionary. Again, we'll go into much greater detail in another video on dictionary creation. There are three categorization settings. The level option allows you to specify up to which level the categorization process should be performed. If you set up to level one, Canada, Mexico, and Brazil, and all the individual country names will be coded under country. Let's take a look. If we set the level to 2, Canada and Mexico will be coded as North America, while Brazil will be coded as South America. If we set it to level 3, they will be coded as individual country names. If you set the level option to as shown, categorization will match the tree in the dictionary viewer. South America is all grouped under one. Categories only codes the last category at or below the specified level. In this case, that would be two or below. This option is especially useful when working with unbalanced hierarchical categorization systems, where individual words are stored at different levels. This checkbox tells WordStat to use the full path of an item as the category name. Let's take a look.
There we can see the full path. Besides these categorization options, you have a number of buttons. You can add, remove, or edit words. You can import dictionaries. All of these options we will cover in another video when we discuss dictionary building. Now let's look at the Substitution tab. The substitution process may be used to automatically replace specific words with other word forms. It may be used to substitute common misspellings or to perform a simple type of categorization where specific words are replaced with keywords. Here we have North America as one word replaced with North America as two words. One of the major changes in WordStat 8 is that substitution and lemmatization have been separated. Lemmatization is available on the preprocessing tab, while substitution has a tab of its own. This allows you to add misspellings to the substitution list. Rather than adding them to your dictionary, keeping your dictionary clean and easy to read. Finally, let's take a peek at the exclusion list. Exclusion is used to remove all words that are not to be included in the frequency analysis. It's otherwise known as a stop list. These are words with little semantic value, such as pronouns and conjunctions. You can easily add, or remove words to tailor it to your needs. Wildcard symbols are also supported. Your exclusion list may be chosen when you initially create your categorization model. Please see a video called Creating a Categorization Model for more information on this process. So there you have a brief overview of the categorization, the substitution, and the exclusion tabs. I've mentioned a number of other videos creating a categorization model, dictionary building, pre-processing, and post-processing. Please have a look at those videos to get a better understanding of the options available on the text processing tab.